Alright, so irony. All right, so I don't know. I guess yesterday I hit during uh, trying to upload a video. I turned the videos to private, but I just switched it back. So it looks like I uploaded them just now or earlier, but really it was uh, those were yesterday's videos. But uh, I just switched them back to public. But uh, anyway, so this morning, that last video I made this morning, I was supposed to, uh, I went off about uh, the immigrants because they was, they, uh, you know, them, them boys was right here doing the, the uh, you know, the, what do you call it, lawn care and landscaping and shit like that, right? And then I started talking about the immigrants, the illegals. All right, so it's, it's weird, you know, I haven't looked at Netflix in a minute. So I clicked on it today and brand new show, Immigration Nation. <laughs> and I was, it's like, okay, I already know this is going to be sickening. And it make it so bad. You know, everything, it got, it, it, I don't even know where to start. Just watch it. I, I'm going I'm to watch the whole, this is a little mini series. I'm going to watch the whole thing. But... It is literally you see all the little talking points of the the liberals, and you can see again if you from the hood or just you ain't got to be from the hood. If you could be white, you know, you know, just people who have who criminals. You saw this one Mexican illegal when he got arrested. He he just ran down the or the the whole playbook. Uh, them liberals when they be like abolish ice and all that boy and maxine water all them fake ass niggas that care more about these mexicans than their own niggas getting killed in their own neighborhoods you know skid row is in her neighborhood maxine waters her district disgusting ass bitch this how this, this evil ass i don't want to hear oh attacking black women no this bitch is not a black woman she's a fucking demon it, it, you know, Elijah Cummins, he died last year or whatever. Remember that, that, that house nigga? Oh, let me know what y'all need. He went down to the detention center. You want to know what they need, but your own people in Baltimore that voted for you. Living in cities with giant rats on the street. Trash all over the place. But you running down to the border worried about some goddamn illegal immigrants. Y'all real pieces of shit. I mean, he's dead already. To, I guess that's good for him that he's dead already. Or maybe this nigga faked his death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, because it's like he felt the heat. Like, man, I better shit, pretend I'm dead. Nigga, I better pull a Tupac. Shit. Machiavelli in this bitch, you know. John Lewis. That's that what I'm saying. John Lewis. That nigga, old, both of them old ass niggas said, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm Machiavelli. <laughs> you know. They, 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 these niggas ain't playing. You know, Max. He told Max. He probably bet he told Maxine Water, "Bitch, you crazy if you stay." You know, you still talking all that crazy. MP forty five. Shit, they finna find out all the dirt we did. No, bitch, you better play dead, ho. <laughs> that ain't me talking. That, that's John Lewis and Elijah Cummings. Bitch, you stupid. <laughs> I'm out of here, bitch. In my Dave Chappelle voice. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Old ass John Lewis analyzed, but one after another, like, shit, y'all, you, you shitting me? These motherfuckers finna goddamn do the thing with your ass. You know how niggas talking to the hood. They finna do the do with your ass when they find out what you been doing. Nah, homeboy, ain't finna be me. I'm finna be... <laughs> Fuck this shit. Hope it'll be sipping my time. I might get a little plastic surgery. Nigga, y'all gonna look like Smokey Robinson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. I'm talking about how Smokey Robinson look now. You know, his face all, you know, <laughs> he can't smile and shit. Big <laughs> John Lewis and shit. Bitch, I'm finna look like Smokey in this bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Aruba permanently. Yeah, tell him I'm dead, nigga. Shit, heart attack, corona, whatever the fuck. Shit, these niggas ain't playing. Let me get <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know how the real criminals do. 
We, we don't know nothing about that life, you know, like they like to tell us. You don't know about that life. Shit, exactly. That's why I ain't got to run and, and fake my death, you know. <laughs> so anyway, back to what I was talking about. This, this, oh, ugh, I, I can't, I had to say something. Um, it's still playing now. I'm just on the first episode. I, I got to hold my, my, my breakfast down. And they got the little ice ages. They, they so... They scary, right? They're not scared of their job, cause you got I saw two of them so far. This big old white boy, he's driving, and again, you could tell he's just been listening to the liberals, the protests, the media. Yeah, I, cause he they just showed, you know, it's like an episode of cops. So they followed him. They arrested one dude, and he basically he's like, uh, I I don't care, cause sometimes what happens is. And like I said, see, remember how I used to say, I know for a fact there were times you get mad at the one nigga who made it hot, right? Literally, y'all could be one nigga just driving crazy, get pulled over, right? Like everybody tell them, slow down, nigga, shit, speed limit 45, you, the fuck you doing 65 for? You know, it's just a regular city street, but, it, you know, it, it got plenty of room. You can do 65 safely, but, with the, you know, you're going to get, they give them definitely, you're doing 20 over that definitely you're gonna get pulled over car full of niggas and then you got one nigga get arrested right not the driver because they're gonna run everybody's name so we have to live like that niggas have to why and i ain't even talking about defund the police that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm tired of all you all you fucking liberals and democrats the same exact situation this ice guy is like oh i don't because what happened was he had to arrest the dude they weren't looking for him but remember, if you watch me, if it, uh, I, I took it off of, uh, remember I just talking about Spectrum yesterday. <laughs> house nigga, liberal house nigga. He, he do it, do what his daddy tell you. Just like that video that Robert Townsend this morning. He, I, Master beats us on Monday. He feeds it. He closes on Tuesday. House niggas, house nigga. They, they, here they go. They don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. It is not because he got a job. It has nothing to do with having a job. You can still have that job, but he's a gang stalker. He's a liberal. He, he's he for these people. George Soros. Look at him. Retarded as fuck. Can't even drive. <laughs> Look, they told him where to park. He was going to park in between there. <laughs> House nigga. Bitch. He pull up playing. Did you can hear the music? He pull up playing that bullshit. Uh, hey, 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 you can get the 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 we know why niggas was going to jail and not getting to jail. I was just talking about crooked ass Elijah Cummins, John Lewis crooked ass, goddamn, you know. And like I don't want to hear all that shit. Do you have defending that bitch? I, I, what part don't you understand? You keep sitting there thinking about this is just the argument and the disagreement. <laughs> keep on just, just keep thinking it's just the argument. Well, I, I want proof before we don't want you to believe us. You're a fucking terrorist, a traitor. And you're stupid as fuck. <laughs> Anybody with common sense, yeah, these motherfuckers ain't playing. Just stop. Stop arguing. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> nah, they, they, they're not playing anymore. We done, went, we done crossed that line. We definitely done crossed the line. You know, wasn't nobody uh, harassing us or pressing us or nothing. You know, goddamn well, all that shit we did was for no reason. So anyway back to this little stupid ass show the uh the ice dude yeah he so he had to arrest arrest and deport somebody detain he finna get deported because basically again yeah he was hanging with some uh, well all both of them was elite they hanging together right so but even though he wasn't the one who did something they weren't looking for him 
but they have to run everybody just like i said like four niggas in the car so the nigga driving does something fucked up other people they ain't doing they mind their business there's no alcohol no drug no nothing in the car but since they're in the car everybody let us run your name person in the back or whatever he got a fucking goddamn warrant or something gotta take him Okay, so why, like I said, why, again, and these in Democrat cities, you know the four niggas ain't going to be in a fucking Republican city. In the, out, in the suburbs, what the fuck they doing over there? So the exact same situation, but he don't like doing that. He didn't like doing that, that to the illegal because he was just minding his business, even though, he, and he literally said it. I don't like doing that because this guy, just cause, he literally said just because he's an illegal. Then he had to correct himself. I know that's my job because, yeah, he realized what he was saying. That's literally his fucking job. But he was trying to be like, it's really just for numbers. Like, again, all the words he said were words that niggas in the hood used to say, but that niggas like this thought they were just complaining about. They would be like, no, it's just a numbers game. And I ain't even talking about prison, just city jail. Remember, that's why I was talking about George Floyd. Nobody that you shouldn't feel sorry for him. At the most, it should be the cop gets arrested, goes to prison. Blah, blah, even if he, they, he doesn't go to prison, blah, 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 the family should sue. They put a little piece of shit, son, crackhead, beating women, robbing pregnant women. Hey, at least you got something from his sorry life. You just sue the fucking city and, and get you a settlement. And that's the most your, your fucking crackhead George Floyd's son ever did for you. Just leave you some money because he got killed. And he really didn't get killed. He OD'd in which he would have OD'd on his own. But this time he OD'd and the police, yeah, the police would have fucking left him alone. He would have OD'd anyway. They would have had to call an ambulance. Maybe they would have saved him. Ambulance. And they call an amb 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 ambulance. So anyway, you know, like I said, they still think it's a regular thing between niggas. You know, we jealous or mad. No, no, no you're a fucking piece of shit hypocrite. You know, fuck nigga. You had there took all the job. Then, you know, to be like, like, like to be a slave for these fucking liberal whites and Democrats, black, black Democrats, black, slit, black KKK. The whole all these other niggas back, put them in prison, city jail, and, and you know, and thought we were, and now that now you're fucked because that, that, that white boy Trump then busted all y'all fucking corrupt ass goddamn little schemes up now you're fucked the money is gone you're running out of money you probably had some left over because it was big money schemes y'all but y'all know that money ain't gonna last there's no way there's no more money finica all he's shutting down all is like he closing all the little faucets Doop. so once this shit is gone this time it's over there's no replenishing you know, so like I said, yeah, so these, so now on this show, what I see, a couple of ICE employees just pandering, basically pandering, talking about they don't like, you know, this, everything they're talking about they don't like is the bullshit, who in the fuck gonna break into a Spectrum fan? But anyway, they don't like the bullshit that the, the liberal media pushing, oh, snatching away kids, we don't snatch away kids, you know. All this and that, and we don't, this one female, I'm like, you need to quit. You know, I can't, and they had one, they did have one scene where they, a uh, 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 dude, I guess he's a father, he got deported, they came and got him, they had the little girl crying, I'm like, that's not heartbreaking. Again, like I said, I know situations, I done seen a person pulled over in the hood, could be a black female, got a, two little babies in the back seat. And what they consider being nice, and this is before all this shit. I'm just saying, I've been so this. You see it. And no, nobody feels really sorry. Nobody feels sorry for a nigga at all. None of us. Niggas don't. None of them. But what the cop will do, instead of calling CPS or something to come pick the kids up, being nice, you got somebody you can call. More than likely, she going to call her mama or her grandmother. You know. Why is this little stupid bitch still hitting his horn? Who in the fuck is going to break into your fucking truck, fucktard? You know, so anyway, the, the, it, they, I seen it happen. Yeah, they, I, you know, they, they come get him. You see it? They, oh, you got somebody? Tell them they got about 20, 30 minutes to get here. Or else they will have to call CPS to come get the kids. 
you know. So all this about y'all crying, y'all fake ass never niggas calling crying about fucking illegal Mexicans. Like I said, if you and just like you would tell a nigga, you know, usually and usually what she got a warrant for, just like they try to say it. nothing, because the little dude, yeah, one of the little dudes, the illegals, he went down the line like the playbook. I don't have any felonies. I'm not violent. I, 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 you know, crying shit that most of us can 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 can. Couldn't, couldn't, uh, just, you couldn't do it. You just be like, fuck. You know, you mad, you fuck, you caught, you're mad, but you're not gonna be go there trying to, oh, cause like I said, it's city shit. You, I done talked to plenty of niggas that been in city jail. It's the same thing. You really ain't a felony. You don't, and yeah, the ice dude is like, I got aggravated felons I need to catch. Basically, he's trying to say, he's, he's on the side of the liberals. Like, it's wasting time grabbing these good air quotes, these good illegal immigrants. But like I said, same thing with niggas. More than likely, like some some down here, they drive them by the license. They were just minding they bent light on. I seen them some of them. I heard their stories. They was literally on their way to work. License been suspended. Why you ain't fix it? He's just minding his business. He's not a criminal. He don't have a like y'all said. He's he's not a criminal. But driving by the license, you yeah, crossing the border illegally is a fucking crime. But you're going to fight for goddamn people. I, ooh, y'all don't make no fucking sense. That little piece of shit that just pulled up. You're like, he's just a... Spe uh, trust me, he, he ain't pull up here for no reason. <laughs> it's like the hypocrisy. The same thing, the same line he ran down. I, I, he, all the shit he heard on TV, on MSNBC, CNN, all that shit. He just, that's basically all he was doing. He just ran down the line. I'm not a... Uh, Cause I bet he wouldn't even thought of saying that shit if they wouldn't have been running them specials, you know them uh having them uh them protests, them them weird ass them liberal New York Democrats, white folks, racists, wanting more slaves. You know, he got that from them. I'm just here trying to live, make my life better, and and I I don't have any felony. I, I I'm not violent. Watch it. This is on Netflix. It's the first episode I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. You know, he just ran down the line. And then the little female ice is like, oh, I don't like the snatching kids away. And snatching what? You know what you was doing? Hell, like I said, the, the, the fucking feds or the, the, the regular the, uh, SWAT team come kicking your door because you got dope in your house. They snatching your kids away. And like I said, the, the real kicker is motherfucker just got misdemeanor warrants. Not showing up in court. You forgot to pay it. A lot of times you forgot. Or you didn't have the money to pay it. Now you got a warrant. And they don't let you go. They don't, uh, yeah, like that one ICE agent. He was like, uh, like I said, he had to run everybody's fingerprints. And yeah, boop, boop, they're illegal. And he had to take this dude in. And, and, but according to the, sap, the sappy-ass ICE agent, you know, because he on TV and shit, quoting all this liberal nonsense, Oh, I, I'm, it was wasting my time. I don't feel like doing that just because he's illegal. Then he thought about it. Oh, shit, I didn't say it on TV. I don't want to do my job. So he just he had to clean it up. Even though it's my job, then he tried to clean it up even more. I got aggravated felons I should be going. No, bitch, you should be going after all of them. Do your fucking job. You don't get to get over on your job and get a free check. Because you think you better than the other. Basically, yeah, there's, there's like a motherfucker who don't want to do the shit work. I'm too, I'm, uh, you know, it could be that, you know, I'm not finna sweep up shit, I got real shit to do, you know, I ain't, get, get, da 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 da, no bitch, you finna go get him too, they call him collaterals, he, well, he, he's innocent, he was not innocent, he, he doesn't have any violent history, you know, he's not this and that, he's just working illegally, he's here illegally, okay, why a nigga can't just drive illegally, he ain't got no other crimes, leave him the fuck alone, and I don't want to hear it don't make sense. They breaking the law. They breaking the law. It is the same thing. You can't have sympathy for one and not have sympathy for your own fucking people. Don't they, they, they quit trying to play y'all. Quit, quit trying to play fucking games. You know, the, you, you, you lost. People see y'all as sick individuals. No, as a matter of fact, keep playing the little stupid games. Please say stupid. Keep, keep playing stupid games. Please do. You know, we don't know their situation. Like I said, 
I heard the cop. <laughs> he looking at the girls. <laughs> you know, this like shit. You got somebody you can call to come get you to you know, cause exactly. She tried to just say same excuse, trying to look sad. I got my two babies in the car. Yeah, but you going to jail, you got a warrant. You missed your court appearance two months ago. But can I just, nah, we got to take you in. You got some, okay, I see you got your kids. Calm down, calm down. We going to get time. Can, you know, can your mom, can somebody come and get down here about that? I seen this. This is not no Republican white folk talking point. This is what I seen in the hood, fuck nigga. So why he didn't just let her go or let the dude go? You know, I seen dudes, motherfuckers told, you like, shit, I'm going to look, I, they lost their shit. Because they had, again, some they, some motherfuckers had shit that they, they ain't take care of for years. Some of them decades. Literally. It's on their fucking record. But the whole time, they just been working. That's why they went so long about getting caught. Just like an illegal. Because they're not criminals. They just didn't have a license the whole time. and Or whatever. After they got suspended in 1983. And just kept working and driving. And finally got caught in 2000, whatever the fuck. If they was a real hardcore criminal, they would have been caught. They went to prison, but no. They just was working. That is the same fucking thing. They were minding their business, as these ICE agents say. I don't want to erase the rest of the ones who are just minding their business. They were just minding their business. Got caught up finally in the traffic stop. Maybe it was a goddamn roadblock where they just looking for people. That happens. Fucking hypocrites. Boy, y'all... I would not want to be y'all when y'all fucking meet St. Peter's. Just, he told you you got a special place for y'all hypocrites. He going to ruin these people. We're, yeah, they start, the program starts off with that sappy shit. Oh, their their lives just being upended. And, and no, their life was upended when they ran, they, they swam across the Rio Grande or whatever river to come here illegally. That was the first thing they did that upended their life. And they, oh, they been here and uh, da, da, da. like I said, I know, dude, they been working. His life was upended. He just had to suck it up, lose everything and start all over again. He's a true fucking stories, motherfucker. Fucking hypocrite, nasty ass slave bitch. I don't see how y'all can even, I, I don't even know what, what came over y'all in the last couple of years. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Did they, did they, are they injecting y'all with cocaine or heroin or something? Y'all got to be on acid or, or meth or something. I <laughs> still want to act indignant like this little bitch ass nigga and this stupid motherfucker. You don't want to act like you tough. Like you doing something right when you're a nasty little piece of shit. Disgusting motherfucker. Started all this shit, now you're mad because because you fucking you know you started all this corrupt shit. Now it's over with. Now you don't you don't know what to fucking do anymore. How about do the right fucking thing like the rest of us? Do things the right way. Hell, you just gotta work hard, work you know whatever. You can't even blame. You. Yeah, you're mad because you can't blame nobody. Well, I thought it was the Republicans. How? They don't. They you when when have you seen a Republican? You haven't on TV, but everybody else is a Democrat. Your mayor, your city council, everybody. You you live in fucking Chicago, Detroit. The fuck you talking about? You live in the inner city. What Republican? What white person is in charge of your life? The chief of police. They're all black. Everybody, as you know. It's crazy, you know. They, like I said, they, these cows on this show. Just, just pandering like they just scared, you know, like not even scared of their job, but scared for what the the anger, the 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 anger mob gonna say, the the fake mob about you know them snatching, how snatching, so what happens to people, Americans all the time when you commit a crime. And then, like I said, that that idiot, look up Al Green. I ain't talking about the singer, the fucker. You know, he's he's questioned. They got the Tom, whatever his name is. And this little stupid motherfucker did. <laughs> He's still talking about, but they didn't commit a crime. And, and the dude is trying to tell him the, the minute they crossed the border illegally, that was the first. It doesn't matter if they come here and try to be clean. And then for you niggas, where you can go, 
what country can you go down to Colombia with no money just like a Mexican come up here with no money a bottle a, a gallon of water and make money no can you get a bunch of niggas and go on a caravan down to Mexico or goddamn Colombia and stay for two or three four years or whatever and make enough money to come back here and buy your house no you ain't got nowhere you can fucking go like that can you go up to Canada you can't go nowhere can you go to Africa? Can you swim to fucking Africa and, and make you got now enough money in four years to basically retire? Come back home and retire at the age of 30? <laughs> just, just crazy. But like I said, I'm going to watch the rest of it. But I like uh, Chronicle and hopefully people in the future will see and understand what we're talking about you know i'm pointing out all these articles so they can see their ancestors how this how they turned maybe they could figure it out with with, with hindsight you know looking and see what the hell you know because these idiots be talking it wouldn't be yeah one employee i forgot what agency he works for this old fat motherfucker white boy you know he tra he had one of them rallies in new york another liberal racist liberal talking about how he doesn't he didn't like his job he has a federal job whatever and part of his job is sharing information or maybe it's not federal it might be state you know maybe he at where the benefits he works for because he looks soft he might work in a welfare office you know that type of dude work with all the women at the welfare office you know you look like he worked behind a desk he all pudgy and shit yeah he's like i i gotta share information with ice and i don't like doing it you know, you got to make it like he's being tough, like he's a, a, a tough guy. A little bitch, you little piece of shit. He talk about he feel guilty, you know, trading this information to Ains. And you got to you got to make a choice which side of history. You're, like, yeah, Yo, you on the wrong fucking side of history, fuck boy. You really need to you, what you feel guilty for is probably because you a goddamn affirmative action hire. <laughs> you know, he's white. You just said he's white. Yeah, but he's gay. So they probably hired him because he pranced into the office and well we need you know, we need some diversity. It's New York City. He know he don't deserve that job. He that's what he feel guilty about. It don't matter if he's gay, but I'm saying that's why he got the job, because he pranced into the office. You know. If he could have been gay, but he could do the job, and he really doing his job, not with all this soft ass shit. I don't feel right. Why the fuck not, nigga? You cut niggas off. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like I said, that's them the racists, not the Republicans. They know these motherfuckers, these liberal white folks. They hate y'all niggas, and y'all still just refuse to leave the plantation. We gonna stay with these liberal white folks, these soft pudgy motherfuckers, and we just gonna work for them. And be slaves. They, you know they good to us. They feed us a little. They feed us all this unhealthy food with welfare, and, and they they shit. Yeah, they give us a couple of hundred bucks. Shit, yeah, we straight. That's all I need. <laughs> and a blunt. It's like okay, that would be fine, but you're stuck in the middle because you're crooked ass Democrats, the black ones and the white ones. Their honey pot, their money, is fucked up. They can't do the corruption no more. It's over. They, they, you know, they, they, they look all their little excess where they was skimming the money off. And like I said, remember, if you're supposed to, if you know about the rules of being rich, you don't spend your own money. So George Soros is finna quit spending his money. You know, he's not, he really probably the one spending his money. You know, this motherfucker crooked as hell. Now that that shit getting cut off, if you look at his history and how he made his money, he not the type that's going to, he's not, he, it says George Soros, you know, that they have to, you know, that he donate to BLM. That ain't his money. He not spending his own hard, hard stolen money. The finance y'all stupid ass niggas? No. He, yeah, he's like, fuck it then. You know, it, it didn't work. I tried. And, you know, some of them, they trying to convince us, well, it doesn't matter. Like like he's some kind of super super villain. No, this bitch is a stupid motherfucker. He's not He's not no super villain. It's going to be someone to replace. Nah, once they make an example out of that, out of that motherfucker. Now, I ain't talking about 
I'm talking about Osama bin Laden, you know, is there something like that? They, you know, they make them all like they're not gonna do that. I don't know. I got a, I got a feeling. You know what I'm saying? They go, his his little peoples ain't gonna want to take. Ain't nobody gonna want to take his place. You know, his he got sons. Yeah, they they're billionaires too. I'm pretty sure they like fuck that. I'm 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 chilling. I ain't got shit to do with. You know what I'm saying? Shit to do with that? No, I'm chilling. Chilling like a villain. That's what they his sons. They ain't nobody finna take his spot. <laughs>